to believe, to be convinced, to trust, even without proof, they say. But is this me? Do I believe God in this way? Can I trust in what I cannot see, even when life has not believed in me? I believed in friends, some let me down. I believed in family, but they left town. I believed as a girl I would have the most amazing life. And now, now I'm part way round. I don't always feel, I believe. I accept God you are infinite, too vast to understand, but how to draw you down to my level so I can try to grasp the truth behind your loving hand. Social media tells me to believe and I'll achieve. But who am I believing in? Can I believe in what I read, in what I see? Is belief in you the same as belief in the images that confront me? I can't believe like I feel I should. When I fall walking on water, should I wave my faith goodbye and question, am I even his daughter? But he says, in your weakness, my strength is made perfect. My pride overrules his truth, claiming I don't deserve it. He gave me this gift, yet I return it. Can I believe enough for him? But maybe, maybe belief is not about pushing, striving, feeling guilty and continually rushing. From those shackles on your feet, he says you are free. Yet I'm using them as security, stifling my shame in my pride, trying to hide. Jesus tells me his safety net is far greater than regret. Maybe I can believe. I can comprehend that it's a gift that I can reach out and receive. Believing in his name, my saviour, my friend, I can explore what it means to be with he who never ends. Belief that unlocks new lands, fresh plans, new ideas, great strength, and his power, infinite in length. What he has promised me, I will see. He still remains. There's no other name that I will continue to proclaim. He is good. He created love, therefore his love is undiluted, unrestrained, genuine, cannot be tamed, forest fire, ocean deep, and guess what? He gives it all to you, saying it's my gift for you to keep. So, can we begin on this journey alongside sisters in Christ to fathom the beauty of his sacrifice, to learn to step out of our present place, leaking out past comfort into his embrace. And finally, allowing ourselves space to perceive what for us it genuinely means to believe.